Fellow Christians of Africa, the second message that I received from the Lord, again waking me up at three in the morning, is more specific towards the Christian in South Africa. And those who have repented of their sins and, and has started to follow Jesus. Uh, as I said in the previous video, uh, God is going to send His wrath out of Africa. And the one way that you can save yourself and your family is by being a righteous person like Job was and like Lot was. And, and th this specific word today is more in line with what you as Christian need to know and understand. So the Lord gave, took me to Luke 3 and verse uh, 7 uh, to 11. So again, I'm just going to say what's, what, what the Lord told me about this. Uh, go and read it for yourself. You can even really read a bit further. But it was when, when John the Baptist was baptizing, people came to be baptized. And he said to them, uh, you, you evil generation, you, you vipers, who warned you about the wrath that was going to come? So again, God says there's a wrath coming and, and people need to be warned. And then he said, to, he said to them, don't consider yourself to be children of Abraham. Because God can create children out of stones if He wants to. And the first message that I gave for you, sir, Christian South African, if you are born again child of God, you need to stop referring to yourself as a boor or a Zulu or a this or a that. If you are a child of God, you're a child of God. You have been born again. You have been born again into the kingdom of God, into His kingdom, becoming a child of God. You're no longer white or black or colored or Indian or whatever. You have now become child of God. So stop the racism, child of God. If you call yourself a child of God, you're born again. Stop the racism. Stop speaking about other people as they lesser than you or different than you. If they follow the same God, they've been born again. They are children of God. Second thing, what he said to them. He said to them, you need to start bearing fruit that comes with repentance. The axe is at the tree. God's going to chop off those trees that do not bear fruit. And he's going to throw them in fire. So this is what's going to come on South Africa. Christians that walk around to calling themselves Christians, they're still racist, they're still selfish, they, st they still live for, for the flesh and for themselves, are going to be chopped out and thrown in the fire. And the people ask John, say, John, so, so what must we do? How do we live righteously? What is that? What is the definition of that? And, and, he, and he actually sums up what Lord Jesus said, that you need to love your neighbor as yourself. He says this, he says, if you have two shirts, and you see somebody who does not have clothes, you need to give that person your shirt. If you have food and you know somebody that doesn't have food, you need to give them your food. You see, we need to start walking as Jesus taught us. We need to start doing as our Lord at this example. We need to start loving others unconditionally. Opening our homes, opening our wallets, opening our food cupboards to those who are struggling. In this time that's going to come, in this wrath that God is going to pour out in South Africa, the ones that will stand will be the ones that love their neighbors as themselves. You do not oppose the evil man. You do not lock yourself in your house and hide away. You are out there loving, spending your life like Jesus spent his life. Let's follow the example of our Lord Jesus. Let's go do what he showed us to do. Going into the evil world that hated him, laying down his life for this world. We are his followers. We need to follow. We need to be out there loving others sharing what we have, being the, the, the salt, being the light. I want to encourage you, church, if you want to survive what's coming, God is going to chop out those who does not bear fruit. It's time that you stop loving money and start loving God and living the life that Jesus has called us to live. Love others as you love yourself. And please be an instrument in God's hand by sending this message to others so that they can also hear it. In Jesus' name, be blessed.